You're watching Explore Tulsa. I'd rather a painting have feeling than to be beautiful. Well, I drew before I could talk. My, uh, my mom said I could, you know, in fact, uh, first grade, I got in trouble and they started sending notes home to my mom saying, please tell your son to quit putting so much detail in his drawings. I got, I went to the principal more, time than, more times than the bullies and everything else at school because I didn't pay attention to the teacher. I was always at my desk drawing. <laughs> that was here in Muskogee. That's where I grew up till ninth grade. My mom, she drew uh, pinups while I was growing up. And my grandmother drew, my great grandmother drew. Uh, had a, only one male other artist other than myself was very good. He was better than me. So I used to go to his house and see his work and get mad. He was a lot older than me. And I'd go home and try harder trying to beat him. So I raised there till ninth grade and then uh, moved to California. I lived with my dad for a little while and then my mom remarried and moved to St. Louis. So I, I went there to finish my senior year. After the Army, like I said, I uh, uh, did movie makeup and then I worked for an illustration studio and then went out of my, went on my own at 28 doing book covers. I started doing book covers immediately after I got out of the military, but they were all military book covers, Chopper One, things like that, just because of my experience with the military. And uh, from that, I did some children's books and uh, I did a few things for Sweet Valley High. <laughs> I got an agent after about three years in the business uh, from doing book covers. She walked in the publishing company and saw my drawing and said, who's this? And she took me on and uh, I was still getting kind of the lower paid illustration book, you know, covers for the books. So uh, I told her, hey, I, I want to do the Star Trek books. And she says, they only use famous artists. They're not going to use you. So I got mad and I did a painting of the Star Trek cast overnight. Uh, I think it was John Luke and Data and Riker. And I, I sent it to her and I said, just show them this, and she did. And I did all their covers for almost a decade, every one of them. I did almost 100 covers uh, a year. It was usually between 80 and like 97, I think was my top year. So it was a lot of books. It was a great experience. I started doing all the uh, I was flying out to do uh, shows about every other week, every two, three weeks I was doing a show somewhere. But I was so busy I'd have to take my paintings with me so I could work on them while I was, you know, at, at the conventions. I met a lot of people, met most all the stars from, you know, the shows. I have eight paintings that have been in the Smithsonian. And that, they never told me. <laughs> it was people who would look me up and say, hey, you know you got this in the Smithsonian? I'd go, no, and I'd go online and find it. But it started with uh, Martin Luther King, I Have a Dream. I've done uh, 13 postage stamps and all kinds of, uh, so I've done six for foreign stamp markets. I'm finishing this painting right here. Uh, I'm gonna finish it. I just finished a Star Trek painting of the new cast with Pine and uh, Quinto and all them uh, for light speed, uh, fine art. I want to do an art show with new pieces that are, you know, not Star Trek or science fiction or anything. And uh, this is a kind of a darker series. And uh, but I'm not getting too dark, just enough dark. And they're kind of personal pieces that uh, that tell a story of things I've gone through. I want to do something different, and that's the textures and things that I, I, I'm putting in here. I think it adds to the feeling because when you look, you also want to touch if it's tactile. If, if it's smooth, you don't get the feeling you need to touch it. Yeah, it, the, if you can get your own story out of one of my paintings and it affects you differently, that's okay. I'm still affecting you with my work.